He was trying to shame me into coming back to being under his thumb. My mom almost took his side because she did not even know what stripping was. She just heard some stuff and she was flabbergasted. She was, she was mad. And I said, it's not what he's, he's saying it is. I bartended before and it's basically the same thing. And that's when I decided, you know what? This is my cue to leave this man alone. And I kid you not. I never went back to that house to stay. And I never went back to that man. I cussed him out, blocked him. He called me from a hundred different numbers, cussed me out, threatened me. And I said, I will never let a man derail my life. Whenever I'm somewhere and I'm not comfortable and I'm not happy and my spirit keep telling me it's better, you have to go further. I don't care who I got to leave behind. I will leave my friends. I will leave my pet. And I will leave somebody else's child behind. I will even leave my own child behind. As long as I know they're going to be okay. And you could judge all you want. You could judge all you want because you will never get anything in life unless you know how to sacrifice. Here I am today sitting up here in Miami. I've been living in America for the past 15 years and my mom told me this was impossible. And that's not even half of my story. That's not even a quarter of my story. Because after I went to Ho Chi Rios, I went to the Bahamas and that's a whole nother book. And every time I've had to make some decisions for my own life, I've had to leave somebody and something behind and you can never shame me for it.